Are traffic cameras crucial to public safety? Do they prevent accidents? Do they save lives? Or do they violate our right to due process, cause accidents, and rake in the big bucks for cash-strapped cities? How you answer those questions depends. It depends on whether you're a political idealist or whether you just got a $100 ticket in the mail for speeding somewhere weeks ago. Not that my daughter would ever do anything like that. No. This is the part where you invoke your Fifth Amendment right to due process, right? Not in New Orleans. There have been rulings against the traffic robocops in some cities, but the federal appeals court here rejected a class action suit against traffic cameras in 2012. Public safety, as in preventing accidents, trump the private interest and risk of error cited by the plaintiffs. But do the cameras make the streets safer? Maybe, or maybe not. Some studies show an increase in rear-end collisions at camera intersections. Those are caused mostly by drivers slamming on their brakes to avoid running a red light. Just a tip here, if you rear-end somebody, chances are you're going to get the ticket. You're supposed to keep a safe cushion between you and the person ahead of you, whether they're braking for the light or for a squirrel. Another study from 2017 found a reduction in crash rates at 54% of camera locations. Only 9% of intersections without cameras saw a reduction in crash rates, so they probably do make the roads safer overall, but they're also big business. The companies that install and operate the cameras get about 25 cents of every dollar they bring in. Every time a New Orleans driver pays a camera ticket, America Traffic Solutions in Mesa, Arizona says, Ka-ching! New Orleans expects to take in more than $25 million from its cut of the program in 2018. Mayor LaToya Cantrell campaigned on the idea of shutting down all the cameras. Now she's talking about phasing out some and operating school zone cameras during school zone hours only. The school zone change alone would reduce the city's take by 50%. The mayor will have to decide before she sends her budget to the city council by November 1st which way she's going to go. That debate will raise new questions about whether the cameras are about safety or about money. I think we can all guess how this is going to end. I'm Tim Morris for Latitude by NOLA.com.